In this video, you will learn how victory over sin can become your reality. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. On this channel, we help you to better understand Bible prophecy and be prepared for these end times. Some of you may be struggling with sin. Perhaps it is the same sin that you have fallen into over and over. But friend, have hope. In this video, you will learn five practical steps of how you can gain victory over sin. I have created a free resource that has the verses in this video this can be downloaded and folded in half to be placed directly in your Bible. To receive this free resource, simply text the word HOPE to 50597. And here you will receive text alerts and more. Do we need to gain victory over sin? He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Dear friend, God wants you to be an overcomer. The blood of Christ, the power of his grace, gives you the ability to overcome sin. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Here we can see that Jesus wants you to be a conqueror. He wants you to gain victory. He wants you to have power to overcome sin, and He offers you that power by faith. Is victory over sin even possible? I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Now unto Him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of His glory with exceeding joy. And here, friends, we see the secret for the Christian life. We cannot overcome sin in our own strength. In fact, if we try this, we will fail. It is the grace of God. Yes, it is the power of Jesus Christ. He gives us this power and by faith, as we accept this, we can have victory over sin. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted, above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. And here we see a precious promise. There is no temptation, there is no trial or tribulation that will be more than you can bear. God will always give you a path to victory. So what are the steps to victory? Step one, believe God's promises. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And here is a key, friends. We must exercise our faith. This is the secret to victory over sin. We must have faith in the blood of Jesus, not only to forgive our past sins, but to empower us to gain victory over sin. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And friends, I recommend that you memorize this verse. Victory is, can be a reality in your life by faith in Jesus. It is God who gives us the victory. Let us claim that by faith. Step two, choose to follow God. Choose you this day whom you will serve. And this is a key right here. We have been given a power of choice. And as human beings, we have the dignity of being able to exercise our free will. No one or nothing can take this away from us, but we must make the decision. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. And this is a key point right here, friends, is that Jesus is standing at the door of your heart. 
He is waiting to come in, but we must open the door to Him. Next, we must take a stand. Romans 6.11 tells us, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed into sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. As we are faced with the temptation, maybe we've fallen for this sin over and over again. But as, we, as that temptation comes to us, let us say we are dead to sin, but we are alive in Christ. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Let's be clear, we have a battle to fight. When that temptation comes, when we feel the urge to sin, we must resist, we must cling to God, we must claim His promise for victory, and He will provide it. Step four in gaining victory over sin, guard the avenues of the soul. What are these avenues? The five senses, your eyes, your ears, your touch, and even your taste and smell. Make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Romans 13, 14. This is a key, friends, because we must guard the avenues of the soul. If we have anything in our life that could tempt us into sin, we must resist it. For example, if you are struggling with smoking, if you make a decision to give it to God, destroy all of your smoking items. If you have cigarettes, rip them up and throw them out. If you're struggling with alcohol, dump it all in the drain. Don't make provision for the flesh. And finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And here is a key principle, friends. As we give up sin, we must replace it with wholesome and healthy activities so we do not leave a void that will tempt us to go back to our sin. But these activities we choose must pass the test we've seen in Philippians. They must be pure, good, holy, and true. And these activities will help us to stay strong and to keep our victory over sin. Bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Even our minds must be guarded. Our very thoughts must be carefully watched so that we don't sin in our minds. Also, I've been contacted by many viewers that have a lack of faith in their words. They're saying things like, I cannot do it, or it's impossible. And friends, don't even let those things come to your mind or out of your mouth. Speak words of victory, speak words of faith, and this will empower you. We must guard our minds. Step five in gaining the victory over sin is to keep the victory. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. And here lies the secret of the Christian faith, staying connected to Jesus. This is how our victory over sin can be possible. We must keep our eyes on Jesus. We must stay connected to Him through Bible study, through prayer, through fellowship with other believers. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 Pray without ceasing. And we can never underestimate the power of prayer. Keep your prayer life always connected to God. Lift up your prayers to Him. Thank Him for the victory He's given for you and pray that He would help you to hold that victory. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. And here David tells us the importance of regular Bible study. We must be continual in God's word, reading it every day, and memorizing its promises. After all, this is how Jesus overcame Satan in the wilderness. It is written not forsaking assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. We must stay connected with other believers. We must fellowship with them, so that we can be strengthened and encouraged in our daily walk. 
be a part of a Bible-believing church near you. If you would like help finding a church that teaches the truth that we teach on this channel, just text HOPE to 50597 and I will help you to find such a church. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Here we see another element of how we can keep our victory. Friends, we must maintain our health. The diet we eat, when we go to bed, all these things impact our health. Okay, because as we are living a healthy life, our body and our mind will be sharper and we will be better connected with God to overcome sin. We must take care of our bodies and this will help us keep the victory over sin. So let us review, friends. These are the steps to victory. Step one, believe in God's promises. Two, choose to follow God. Three, take a stand. Four, guard the avenues of the soul. Five, keep the victory. And friends, if you would like to make a decision right now, if you would like to say, God, by faith, I choose to be victorious. By faith, I surrender myself to you and I claim the victory in your word. If you'd like to make that decision right now, friends, tonight on this very night or day that you are watching this video, simply write in the comment section below, I am an overcomer. Just write it below, friends. If you're watching live, if you're watching the recorded version, just write that below, I am an overcomer. And if this video has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, and please click the bell icon so you're notified of the future videos on this channel. And at this time, friends, for those of you who are watching live, after the outro, I will have a live question and answer. For the rest of you, may God bless you. And remember, friends, keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith.